This is the ergonomic office and desk chair here with lumbar support from the folks at Filenka. This is a great way here to be able to have this in your home office. If you want to have this at your studio or even at work, it's got, it's got five wheels to support a maximum payload here. And it's going to be great for long extended use here in the office, doing your work or at home. Everything in the box here is included. There is assembly that is required. You will need to set up the entirety of the chair here, which we will demonstrate. The chair itself features a premium comfort high density sponge cushion seat allowing you for a soft and elastic design for long lasting comfort. The backrest is a breathable mesh support to allow you to stay cool while also still providing you a firm ergonomic support made out of high quality, high density mesh. The chair is adjustable and durable, allowing you between 98 and 118 degrees of reclining with a four inch lift, as well as being able to support up to 300 pounds maximum capacity for the seat. Now that you've separated all of your pieces together, you're gonna to take the center axis here where the main chair shaft is gonna attach and you're gonna first do the legs. Now I've put together all five and you're gonna to wanna to close it off here by using the provided Allen wrench and bolts to be able to fasten it closed. Okay, you want to next step, set gently tap all of the chair legs here on the ground. And then the third step is using these screw heads that are like bolts and you're gonna be screwing each one of these in respectively. It says to use the hammer side to give it a good old push down and then you just screw them in hand tight. Hammering it in is going to get you partially there and then you screw it tight, not too tight over. You don't want to strip it because it's just going into the plastic. Fourth step here is press fitting in the wheels. They just kind of just press right in. You want to get all five of them. Next step is pushing that aside. You want to affix your armrests here to the bottom of the Felica cushion, denoting here what's left and what's right. You're gonna be using the screws denoted here with blue are the ones that you're gonna be affixing to the armrest. You wanna make sure here that you've got the right positioning. These holes are gonna be the back for the backrest, so you want your armrest to face this direction. Don't make the same mistake I did. Alrighty, we've got the armrests all cinched tight. The next step here is going to be putting the hydraulic plate here to go up and down and rise on your, on your chair. Be careful when placing it. You want to make sure that this ball here, the tension tilt is facing the front of it. You don't want to have it towards the back and you want to have the hook here on the right arm upside down respectively. Then you're going to get the smallest of the bolts and you're going to place them in with a washer, tighten them with the provided Allen wrench tool. Once that's tightened, the next step here is moving on to the backrest. You're going to be using the longest screws here with their provided washers, and you're going to be placing them all four in their respective holes. Okay, cinching it tight. This is more or less what it's going to look like. It's a little bit heavy here, so if you need, you may need to have assistance with two people. Last step is placing the air rod in. You just place the air rod with the thick part down. And then you're going to press fit it into the aligning hole here as well. And just using your body weight is easy to be able to do it. And that will activate it. Once you place it in, it'll cinch in and then you just sit. Alrighty, there you have it. This fits a multitude of different shapes and sizes up to 300 pounds. The, the armrest can be adjusted here when you're screwing it in to be more in or out. I'm a little bit wider and taller and uh, it does go down pretty far. If you just want to press the hand here it will actually lift up to a reasonable height up and down I really like it it's nice and ergonomic here it has a little bit of a tilt if you wanted to adjust that you can adjust that here on the bottom otherwise having this mesh back here is really nice support included in there is this lumbar support pad you can take it out if you want otherwise I'm gonna leave it in to make sure that I can sit back as I need it does incline all the way back to 118 degrees. It's set to 98. You can lock it by pressing in the handle here and it will lock tight. I like that. That's really, really nice.